Hi, Julie Barkas here. The objective of this video is to help you understand some of the symptoms of workplace gossip in your organization. Now, most leaders, if there is a workplace gossip problem, they're well aware of it, but some leaders know that there might be a little bit of gossip going on and they know that destructive communication is a problem, but not quite sure if it's workplace gossip. So here are a few things to keep your eyes open for to help you evaluate if workplace gossip is present in your workplace. The first thing that I would look for is staff are always coming to you with their issues and problems, expecting you to resolve these things for them. And if the same issue arises time and time again, this means that there's no resolution to the issues that are coming up, which means that nobody's confronting each other or speaking with each other directly about these things. What typically happens in these situations is staff have a couple people or one person who's their confidant and they go and gossip with this person or just talk about the situation endlessly, venting, complaining, venting, complaining over and over again without a resolution. So this turns into workplace gossip. That's definitely something to keep your eyes open open for. Another way to determine if workplace gossip is present in your environment is if there's a lot of whispering going on. I've often heard leaders say when they walk down the hallway, staff are huddled together, whispering back and forth, and when she walks by, everybody stops what they're saying. Or the same thing. It may happen that you walk into a lunchroom when staff are gathered and, and talking, or they're whispering real silent talking, and when you walk in, they stop. That's another way to know if it's present in your environment. And another way is if you make an important announcement at a staff meeting, and you ask everybody or let them know, hey, you know, this is an important issue. I'm open to your feedback on this. Please share with me. And everyone just looks down or at each other saying nothing. Some leaders I've worked with call this the silency conspiracy. If this is happening to you, workplace gossip may be present, especially if after the meeting you see people huddled together, whispering, talking about it, or even during the meeting, they're whispering back and forth to one another. So these are some signs and things to look for with workplace gossip in your environment. I'm Julie Barkas and I'll be back soon with more tips to help you understand and eliminate workplace gossip.